going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. This is the Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition, and we're back at it, man. Weekend League. I don't know if I'm going to complete all 40 games, but I am going to give it my all. I decided to play these first 10 games. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I finished these first 10 games. You won't even believe me. I swear I finished these first 10 games in under two hours. So many people either, like, rage quit or the game just went so fast. It was unbelievable, yo. If you are so excited for the Road to Glory to be back, smash a big old thumbs up. And there is something I definitely want to talk to you guys as we build what team we're going to be using. I decided that I wanted to use Sonaldo. I wanted to use the King Pele, and I wanted to use Lukaku, but for the first game, Lukaku's not going to start because I'm going to end up starting Ericsson, but Lukaku is going to get a go, and he plays all nine games instead of all ten games. So, with all that being said, as I kind of fix a team in front of your faces, I want to kind of put something out there real quick. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and turn your bell on, all right? Now, listen, Booya Nation. You guys know I'm not a cocky person. I mean, if you've been watching this series all year long, if you've been watching this channel, I'm always the guy that says I'm bad at FIFA, um, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not a top 100 player, blah, 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 whatever. A lot of people get pissed when I say that, but realistically, man, I don't want you guys to take this in a cocky way, but my first 10 games of the weekend league, I'm not really having that I'm not having the drive that I once had to play the weekend league. And I'm going to tell you why. For me, losing is what drives me to play. And I know a lot of people are like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Bros, I play a game until I'm extremely comfortable on it. And I feel like I've done well. And I feel like I'm at the point where, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm all right now. I don't have to play it as much. And playing this weekend league right now with the way I feel with this team and the way the way like the competition is, I feel like it's almost a bit easy. And please don't take that in the cocky way, but it's driving me not to wanna see because I don't I never really played the weekend league for the rewards. I literally played the weekend league to get rewards for my viewers because I know how much you guys loved it. And I also did it um, to get better at the game because I enjoy winning and good records on FIFA. I know that sounds really stupid, but I've just been playing FIFA since I was a kid. So for me, like the re rewards are cool, but I know as much as I play the game, as much as because you guys, you know, you guys have blessed me to be able to play the game for a living. Because of how much I play the game, I know I'm going to get the top of the line players because I invest so many hours into the game. Without even using money, just the fact that we can invest so much time into the game. If all of you guys could invest as much time as I invest, you would have the Pelez and stuff just like me, right? So... With that being said, I kind of play the game to get better and to to to, to be alright at the game. I, I don't really care to like, it's so weird, right? Because I don't care to be a pro, and I'm not a pro player. I'm a FIFA YouTuber, I'm an entertainer. But at the same time, I like to I like to be able to go like, you know, 40 and 0 and stuff. Like that time I went 40 and 0 is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my, in my, my FIFA career, if you want to call it that, my career. So... As much as I don't care about being a pro, what drives me is to get better at the game. For example, when I played World of Warcraft, I sucked at that game. But I wanted to be better at it so bad, so I constantly played it. Call of Duties, I tried to play, even though I get, I get motion sickness if I play shooters. So any game that I really, really like, if I want to be good at something, I play it and play it and play it and play it until I get good at it. And then once I get good at it, I'm like, I'm kind of like, all right, yeah, I'm all right now. So I really think that's what kind of drives me as we go into game two. It's, it's sucking. I think sucking is what drives me. Wanting to improve and seeing kind of the development of my skill set kind of growing for example like as i talked about other games the reason i kind of like even played world of warcraft because a lot of guys a lot of you guys are like skills how do you play a sports game they play like how does world of warcraft even like how do, how'd you get into that I like playing games that don't have an end to them and you can constantly progress like Building yourself better, getting your better gear, getting better. I, I enjoy the, the grind of video games. And for FIFA, the only grind you really have is trying to get the best team. And then the grind is trying to just beat your opponent and grinding your record and grinding to be better and watching your progression. So, you know, from where I was playing my skill level in the beginning of this FIFA to where I've come now to be able to, you know, make Miami, make Vancouver, make FIWC, um, to be able to get top 100 as much as I did, it was kind of awesome to watch that progression. And now that I'm playing the week, weekend league you know with this team and and, and this late in fifa kind of just running through games like this for me is not that fun i know a lot of people like yo i would love to just smash people 8-2 and 10-2 and those games are fun and it's so stress free but it's so boring as well like for me it's really 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 boring and please don't think i'm complaining about being all right at a video game because that's exactly what i'm not doing i'm just saying that Right now, my drive to play the weekend league, first of all, like, nice goal by Lukaku, man. First of all, we don't really got the rewards that we once, you know, we were popping out because the rewards aren't really that good right now until the new game comes out pretty much. And rewards kind of don't mean nothing because we have a top-of-the-line player, I mean team. But at the same time, like, just, just running through people and smacking people, like, you don't have the push of that. You don't have the push of the rewards. So you're grinding through, through these 40 games, but f for almost nothing. I kind of wish, and maybe in FIFA 18 EA, you can look at this and kind of evaluate. Maybe become like, you know, 
late FIFA 18, you can lower the games down to 20. Like when it no longer matters anymore. Once you pass like team of the year, team of the seasons, all this stuff, once you're done with team of the season and the rewards no longer matter, how about we drop it down to 20 games? If you're gonna keep 40 all year long, at the end of FIFA, let's drop it down to 20. Cause realistically, I mean, why are you making people grind through 40 games still for trash rewards and it's not that fun? And I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. I just like FIFA. So the weekend league for me is kind of fun because the servers aren't bad. The draft servers are so horrible. You guys have been seeing me play a lot of draft. And another thing I love about the weekend league is you can actually play with the players that you enjoy playing with. When I play the draft, you kind of got to pick and you know, you don't know what you're going to get. When you play this mode, you get to play. Like I wanted to use Lukaku this weekend. Watching Lukaku in real life for Manchester United made me want to use him this weekend. I am very, very, very heavily influenced by what's going on in real life football. Um, for example, Neymar was one of my favorite players. In all FIFAs, I wanted to use Neymar. And then Neymar kind of, I don't know, when he left Barca, I kind of, I don't like Barca. I, I don't like Barca. I'm like Madrid. I'm a big FIFA fan. But when he left that, I kind of, I don't feel the same about Neymar. So now, you know, he's not one of those players. But I'm a guy that likes to use players that I like in real life a lot. For example, um, you know, uh, when I ran with Conte, I really, really love Conte in real life. Uh, Pele, San Sonaldo and stuff, that's just because really, Sonaldo's really over overpowered. To be honest, I don't really see him play that much. But I really like using players I like pl seeing play in real life. Nice touch by Sonaldo here. Look at the passing. I mean, the, it's, 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 it's beautiful plays. It's great buildup. But... And I'm not taking nothing away from my opponents. I just think a lot of people that are playing the weekend league right now are people that didn't get to play it in January and stuff like that. And it's not really fair. It almost seems like it's way too easy. Now, I did have a couple difficult games. Don't get it twisted. I mean, I did go through the 10 games and we had a couple t difficult ones. But right now, if I was to go 40 and 0 on this account, as much as it would mean a lot and it would be awesome to get 40 and 0, it wouldn't feel like the 40 and 0 I got in January. That 40 and 0 I got in January to qualify for um, for what was it, my what, FIWC, that was serious, bro. It's because, you know, you had the top of the line players playing. You had people trying to make regionals as well. You had some serious, or make FIWC, you had some serious players playing, and it was very, very difficult. Going 40 0 then was nuts for me. This one, if I was to go 40 0 this weekend, it would still mean a lot because it's 40 0. And, and beating 40 people, who, no matter what their level are, is unbelievable. But at the same time, it just wouldn't feel the same as the 40 I know I got in January. So let me know in the comments down below. What drives you to play the weekend league? Because now that I've had time to sit back and kind of let the entire year digest, I took a week off of the weekend league last weekend, I kind of got to digest and kind of figure out what drives me. And it's not the rewards. Um, it is the rewards for my viewers. I swear to you it is. And then I'm like, what's good? What are, you, what are you saying you're doing for the view skills? I do it because it makes people extremely happy on my channel. Like throughout the year, everybody was like, skills, this is awesome content. I love the road of glory. And seeing that is what motivated me to play 80 games. Guys, I used to play 80 games from Thursday night until Sunday. Road to Glory and my main account, it was nuts. But that's what motivated me and drived me to want to play so much FIFA was how cool the comments were and how awesome you guys were with thumbs up and stuff. So um, right now, the only thing I have driving me for FIFA right now is the draft series, really. And, and when I do this is... I, I, I don't even have a drive to go 40 and no. I'm kind of like playing this like, all right, where would I have to stop to get top 100? Is it just like 30 and two or 32 wins, 33 wins? Like where would I have to stop? Because I don't know if I'm really trying to grind all 40 games. And again, it's not it's not that I don't like FIFA. It's that there's no there's no reward. There's no reward for, there's no reward because the viewers don't really care about the, the rewards no more because they know that the account's already stacked. There's no rewards when it comes to, um, you know, going 40 and 0 because realistically, uh, a lot of people aren't playing the game that much anymore. So I don't know. There's just no reward. So please, in the comments down below, let me know what is driving you to play FIFA and what drives you at the highest point of FIFA. So during January, during February, when the game is blooming and beasting and feasting, what drives you to play the weekend league? I told you what drives me. Let me know what drives you. Pele. Pele, man. Um, yeah, that, uh, you know, people don't like when I call people goats, but we got three goats. One team, three goats. I tweeted out people get pissed when I call people goats. But it's the same thing as when JJ used to run around calling everybody a beast. It's the exact same thing. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it is something very, very interesting, the goat word, because I have three goats on one team. Lukaku at Cam was absolutely unbelievable. In any game that I got in that he wasn't playing good, I would pull him and bring in Dembele super sub, and it was just so overpowered. My man Pele was playing right striker, so now left striker because he has that weak foot, five star a weak foot. Um, and then we had Lukaku in the middle. And then if a game got tough, we would bring in Dembele, uh, which realistically not that many games got tough. But look at Pele. Yo, he was scoring like hat trick after hat trick after hat trick. Pele scored so many goals. And that was my, that's my drive right now for this weekend league. Um, you're probably like, well, skills, you know, you just told us so many reasons why you not don't want to play it. So why are you playing it? To show y'all Pele in the weekend league. Because, you know, on a road, there's not that many road of glories that accomplish a Pele 
and, and achieve a Pele. And just to buy him is not enough for me. I don't want to just buy him like, hey guys, we got Pele. Yay! I want to get Pele and show you Pele in the weekend league. Pele, brilliant finish. Um, yeah, I want to show you guys Pele in the weekend league because I feel like, you know, just buying him is not enough to show you how, 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 you know, what he's like, man. So do I like Pele? I do. His work rates are very weird for me, man. Um, some games I'm like, yeah, he's always in the striker position. Then some games he's just never where I want him. Once I went to the 4-3-1-2, he started playing better. But look at him, yo. That's a hat trick in this game, I believe, man. Every game he's putting in a big boy hat trick. Um, but when I went into the 4-3-1-2, he started to play a lot better for me. Because when I was playing him in the 4-2-3-1, which is the one with two CDMs, uh, I felt like he was never right in the right place. Like, look at that. Right here, we're counterattacking. He was just so far back. And finally, he gets up into the striker position. I kind of had to hold the ball up with Lukaku. And luckily, Lukaku's the type of player that you can hold up and wait for somebody to come along. So as we jump into game number seven, we got matched up against, you know, some teams here are really bad. And some teams are actually really good teams. Like, I consider this a really good team. Um, for where we're at in FIFA, you know, he has, like, uh, informs everywhere. Obviously, that Cordrado is probably his weakest link, but not a bad team right there. And we just jump in here and we just we come out gunning, man. My man Lukaku was looking for a good pass. I saw somebody wide open, but I go to Pelé and he just scores from anywhere, bro. Pelé is a scoring machine, and we're gonna get an extremely quick rage quit in this game. Big boy Lukaku comes right down, just seconds later scores again, and just just a few minutes later, bro, we're not even the 20th minute yet. Look at the passing. Pelé is gonna tuck this one to the back of the net, and that's what I'm explaining to you guys, yo. It's like. It's nuts how fast I went through these games. And it almost got to the point where it was almost boring. And, and again, not to sound cocky in any way, but have you ever played games where, like, if you're playing the draft, you're just dominating the draft. Do you, have, do you get bored? Because it's not, you know, it's not competitive. And I don't know, for me, a lot of people scoring goals is what makes them fun, you know? Like, scoring a lot of goals for you is what's fun about FIFA. For me, it's the competitive nature, I think, of, like, being pumped and your heart starts to beat. And you get that little, you get that little, you know, you feel your heart beat in your tongue, in your stomach. It's like, pow, pow. I don't know. Do y'all get that? And, like, you, 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 you start to get nervous and you start to bounce your leg and shake and you, you feel shaky and like you're just so nervous do you guys get that because i get that in the weekend league and i like that feeling i don't really feel that feeling right now man so we kind of went got into a sticky situation with us this guy we were losing but we luckily bring, brought it right back with dembele i told you anytime the, the game got sticky i brought in dembele and look at dembele man great passing between him and sonaldo i had to switch in this game to a 4-3-3-4 uh because I, is this the game i believe this is the game he was playing in a 4-3-3 4 3 3 3, which is the defensive 4 3 3. Um, and then, actually, that's not the game. There's a game that comes up that you're going to see where I had to switch into the 4 3 3 because he was playing in the 4 3 3 defensive. Actually, I think it was this guy right here. And he gave me an extremely hard game. So, two back to back hard games. Um, and this is game number nine, I believe I'm showing you right here. Yeah, this is this is us going into game number nine right here. And it was an extremely tough game. We're trying to make it to 10 and 0. Beautiful over the top. And he's going to score first. And I had to switch into a 4 3 3 4 to be able to counter what he was doing because he was playing me in the 4 3 3 3 with two defensive mids in the 4 3 3. So, it's very difficult. Sonaldo moves the ball around nicely, finds the back of the net to make it 1-1, and then he comes right back down, man. David Luiz, it's, it's just a weird, really, really weird goal. It bounced off my guy, went to him, and he scored, uh, but we were lucky enough to be able to get back into this one. But Sonaldo finds the boy. Is that Pugba? It is big boy Pugba coming all the way up from that CM roll in the 4-3-3 and bags one low. Nice over the top to the boy Pelé, and the king misses, but finds the rebound and gives us a lucky win, in my opinion, and we're going to advance into game 10 and could be going 10 and no against a pretty tough game. So the last two games got a little bit tough, especially this last one. This last one actually wanted me to keep, like, it, it, this one, I, I got my touch back. I wanted to go. I get matched up against this incredible team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red cards, two legends, and then a team of the season card, right? And as we come into this game, I'm going to just show you the last clip of the game. So we get into, like, the 88th minute, and it's still nil-nil, and the game is extremely difficult. I'm also in the 4 3 3 4 attacking. I find Pug, but Lukaku is not in the game at this point. I go down to Delhi Ali with a great pass. Deli Ali finds Sonaldo. Sonaldo looks around, can't find nothing. I'm holding up. It's the 90th minute. I gotta make something happen. 90th minute cheese goal. Where's that? Big boy Pugger trying to keep it alive. I get knocked off the ball. Unlucky. He has a chance to counterattack. At this point, I'm thinking, let me foul, but I get a lucky steal off. I get it to Sonaldo. I send it all the way down to Deli Ali, which I mess up again. Now I'm thinking foul once again. So I'm like, yo, the game's gonna go to extra time. Just foul here. Just foul. I steal it with Ferdinand. Find a nice pass. I go up to the boy Conte. The ball gets through. Conte keeps it alive. Pele in nice one, two. Pele with a chance and we win it in the 90th minute. Probably one of the longest. Longest, longest 90th minutes I've ever seen in my entire life, bros. It was incredibly long. 
I'm not even sure, I'm gonna be honest with you, that play was nicely built up, but I'm not sure how Conte got to that original pass. I honestly never thought he would get to that pass. I've played this guy multiple times, and every weekend when I do play him, he gives me a hard game. I'm pretty sure he's beat me before. He's a very, very tough opponent, a very good player. I was able to beat him in the 90th minute to give ourselves a W and make us 10-0. So, out of all those games I played, the last two games were very, you know, sticky, man. But besides that, um... It, 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 the competitive nature wasn't there for me. The one thing I loved about the weekend league was how competitive it was and your heart starts beating. It's just fun, man. See, Conte, I don't know how he got to that ball right there and then sending it back to Pele. He just, he finishes. Yo, Pele's a finisher, bro. So uh, that first, like, I just, I, that first ball that Conte gets to, I have no idea how I get there. But I got 10 and up. I'm not saying I'm not going to finish the gameplay because I might finish the gameplay, try to get us 40 and up, especially if I can cruise through it as fast as I cruise through it now. Please don't take this video in a cocky way at all uh, because that's not what it is. You guys know that I do not see myself as this crazy good FIFA player I try my best I give it my all and I try to be good for you guys and give you guys good content so um, with that being said let me know in the comments down below what drives you man what drives you during not just now because I know a lot of people aren't even dri driven to play FIFA right now what drives you during the coolest times of FIFA when the game is popping when it's fun when it's exciting what drives you is it the rewards is it the coins is it is it being good is it trying to get better and does the front is the frustration of losing actually get to you because for me the frustration of losing motivates me to play more to get better if somebody beats me really bad I want to go again. I want to play them again and again and again and again until I can actually beat them. So let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments down below. Big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. That's the Road to Glory episode. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A9 Skills. Welcome back to the draft challenge I do against my best friend, the Penfest. You can find his link down below. Go show him some love. Hit him with a big subscribe. He is the homie. With that being said, this is the draft I make a lot of mistakes series. But hopefully, and I didn't make no mistakes in the last episode, which is awesome. I believe right now we're on 29 points in the comments down below. Someone can quote me if you think I'm wrong or if I am wrong. But I'm pretty sure we're on 29 points points after um after what three episodes now i believe it was so now we're on 29 points we're going into episode number four argentina versus italy nep is italy i am argentinian which means i can i i'm not argentinian but i am argentinian for this episode uh i could take messi i could take any argentinian players i cannot touch any italian players uh which kind of sucks because if we do get icardi we can't go with any uh any we can go with city A, but we can't go with any italian now with that being said if you like this series please hit a big old thumbs up if you like playing with argentinian drafts hit a big old thumbs up as well and also um, if I make any mistakes, please let me know in the comments down below. I tend to make a lot of mistakes, which I don't mean to, but I do do. But again, in the last episode, we did okay. 433 false 9, 